Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be featuring Eagle Moss's Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 7, stage 25. Now, if you haven't done so already, please head over to my Facebook group that I created for this. Please join and contribute to your, your build, any questions you may have about this build, and any tips and techniques that you're using to build this model. So, like I, like I uh, said in the previous stage, this is currently sold out in the U.S., very popular, but it uh, should be available uh, very soon again. It is available for pre-order, so if you head over to Eagle Moss, go ahead and pre-order yourself onto that, so that way you'll be the first to get it mailed to you when it's available. So let's get started on stage 25. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 25 in issue 7. So in this stage we'll assemble the right rear seat and just like stage 24 where we, where we assembled the left rear seat, we're doing the same thing here. We're going to assemble the seat belt mechanism onto the seat and then we're going to take and install the seat onto the, the lower base and secure the seat belt. So we should have both seats in place by the time we're done with this stage. So I'll get the parts out and we'll get a close look at them and then we'll get this started. Be right back. Here's parts pack 25 which is the right rear seat and I'll go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look at them. Here's a close up the parts and just like stage 24 we get the, the seat we get the seat belt, we get the seat belt clips, number one and number three. We get the seat belt uh, locking mechanism. We get more GP screws and more HM screws. So let's get started. For step one, we attach the seat belt buckle. We want to make sure the buckle is positioned where the opening is facing the in inward side of the seat. seat. So I'll turn that around, it'll be just like that. It goes into this slot right here. It just press fits, there's no glue required. Just like that. Doesn't need to be pushed in very hard. Looks good. Next we install the seat belt into the number one pin seat mount. And they have us do it just like just like this. We insert it through the front slot. Pull it through. Right. Flip it over. Insert it through the second slot. Take my tweezers. Pull it through. Just like that. Then we're going to mount that to the interior base, just like before. When we mount this to the interior base, note that we do have an alignment pin right there. That's going to align with the pin. On the base. Just like that. You can kind of see it there. We are putting an HM screw into it. So an HM screw goes into this. Locks that seat belt down inside. Next we're going to mount the seat. 
we have to feed our seat belt through the slot here in the bottom back of the seat there. I think it might help if I cut it open just a little bit, just like I did in the previous stage. Took and just kind of cut the opening a little bit. Should be able to fit through it now after it's cut open. There we go. Take my tweezers, pull it through. There we go. Now my seat will mount on three areas here. Three mounting point, four, I'm sorry, four mounting points, two on the bottom and two on top. Simply just gonna go down on just like that. You can see that. We are going to put in four GP screws, two up top and two on the bottom. I'll do the bottom ones first. There's one. So yes. I'm having fun with this GTR build. It's alive and well and strong here in the US. Hopefully uh, York will get their hands on it next. Been very successful here. It's uh, actually been sold out but available for pre-order. So it's alive and well. Get the word out to everybody that you can get this now. There we go. Next we install this seatbelt buckle into the seat belt. Now there's some thick glue on it. Okay, so we're going to put this uh, seat belt buckle on the seat belt itself. Now I had to widen it a little bit with an exacto blade so that way I can get the material through it. There's actually glue on the end of it that makes it a little bit wider than necessary. So now I widened the buckle, it should feed through with no problem. There we go. Okay. I'm going to run into the same problem again because the next step we have to feed it through that slot and lock it in on the back side. So I'm going to take and open that slot up with an X-Acto blade. There we go. And feed this through. Hold it. And take my tweezers. You can see it. And I'm going to pull it through. Just like that. Leave it turned over because we do the same thing now. We get our number three clip just as before. We feed it through the clip.
and loop it through the other side, pull it through. This has a pin on it to line it up when you mount it. Hold it in place. The pin's inserted. And we'll put an HM screw into that. Both seat belts, both seats are in place here. And there you have it. That completes stage 25. We installed the right seat, seat belts, seat belt clips, and holders. And it looks great. Now you can see we have a completed back seat with uh, safety belts. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this today. As I'm filming this, it's currently sold out but available for pre-order. So with that, happy modeling everybody. Have a great weekend and take care.